Yeah, still, I know it looks stupid. Don't look at me like that. Anyway, we are back for another Game of Thrones ring vlog. I'm hope when I lay down this way, I'm not gonna fall down. Okay, like I'm gonna save you if you fall down, but it's okay. Anyway, um, um, got done with Game of Thrones one, or or a Song of Ice and Fire one. Saturday, I think it was. I think it was Saturday. I forget. Or Friday. Was it Friday? Might have been Saturday. And then um started it this I don't know, I forget. It was Saturday Friday or Saturday. And then I started this. So um instantly we are put Oh, and uh, in, in the new video I have a new um intro. Let me know if you like it. Um paid for that one this time because I figured you know Maybe do a little investment in my channel. So I don't know, some about the the old one that I've had for like what a year or two years. I wasn't liking it anymore, so I wanted to do something a little different. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the new intro. But back to this. So we are introduced to Stannis, Stannis Baratheon, um, or Stannis, how they how it's narrated in the in the book. Um, is he, that's, this is in the prologue, so basically, um, his, um, maester, his maester, his, that guy, yeah, maester, uh, Crescent, um, he is, he is basically an elderly gentleman, he, um, felt, broke his hip, never healed back right, so he, you know, was struggling a little bit, and, um, Stannis Baratheon's daughter, forget her name, She's hanging out with the old man because they're really good friends. And he also got a man who is a fool. Um, he, he has um, red and blue um, squares tattooed all over him. And he basically just doesn't really know anything. Real, I mean, he sings. He, he just sings random stuff all the time. So we're introduced to him too. I'm going to get the dynamic, dynamic of these two. And everyone saw the big red comet that happened at the end of Game of Thrones 1. Or Song of Ice and Fire 1. Um... And people are speculating what's gonna be. People are court. What'd you do, Stella? Did you go potty? Well, I can't see. Did you go wee? She went wee on her on her on her on her bed. We'll give her a treat later, but you'll get a treat here in a minute, okay? What? You'll get a treat here in a minute. I swear, Stella. Oof. Anyway, um, people are like, ooh, uh. Uh, Song of Ice and Fire, a uh, blood, uh, fire and blood. That's what they're thinking it is. But um, or some people think it's it's Joffrey. It's it's a good omen for his name day. Whatever. Blah. Fuck that guy. Anyway, so we go forward and um, we're gonna see how Stannis is. Stella, stop. Stella. I don't hold you. She'll like knock you over. Um. So and there's I guess I think it hits his wife. His wife. Um. He was gonna poison this lady because she threw something off about her. She has some witchcraft or some shit. I don't know. I didn't quite understand that because I think when I was reading this beginning, I was like, mm, I was kind of tired. But um, I so we get to that part and um. He tries to poison her, but then he actually ends up dying in the process. So, that's the whole thing. So, we, um, can't think of her name. Lucinda. Why do I got Lucinda? I know it's not Lucinda, but, uh, I can't remember her name right now. That's gonna be my problems remembering all the names. Oh, wait, we got, we got an index. Hang on. Stay. If you fall down, I'm so sorry. King of the North. King of Highguard. King Robert Rutherford's brother, for name is Stannis. God damn it, Bobby. Marjorie? No. Anyway, I'm not gonna try and look for that because it's gonna be a little confusing. Anyway, 
that's what's gonna think I'm gonna, it's gonna be confusing for me is keeping up with all the names and all the whoever's doing what um but um and one thing to note that Austin's daughter has a birth defect on her cheek I think it's I'm pretty sure it's dragon scales so that's what's supposed to be so there's that and I don't think we got a, a Daenerys chapter if, if not I don't remember it because no we've got some more Tyrion um at Tyrion he basically is tasked to be the um hand of the king of to King Joffrey got more of Sansa and her getting her shit beat in because Joffrey pff, yeah and more Bran uh they find out they have found out that you know um um their dad's dead and he keeps having these dreams i i know like these are supposed to be important but you keep but his, his chapters are not as fun i like think i like Tyrion's chapters um and everything um he you know is now trying to become the hand of the king and it kind of shows how smart he is because he's going to the hua house to go see his hua that he's being a friends with um and lord uh Vares, you know the monk looking guy um he comes he's basically saying hey kind of kind of like meets him there kind of confronts him there and lord uh tywin i should have put my that was really cool um he's basically like yeah he's talking to him but then his head's going yeah you were just here to t tell me yeah i know you're here i knew you brought this girl with you mm -hmm. i know everything eyes i have eyes and ears everywhere and he's just like yeah mm -hmm. in his head kind of translating what lord Varys actually means which is cool um and we kind of see the dynamic between him and cersei um uh, which is kind of not so good she don't like him she don't like him at all yeah and um she like slaps him like three times and he goes and and i like been fucking her brother slap and then he says something else slap and he says something else. she slaps him again which i thought was really really funny i'm pretty sure she probably does that on the show which would be funny to see um so he's basically trying he says he's gonna do his own justice which i'm like what's that own justice and joffrey is an idiot he's just he just wants to behead everybody and like a vegetarian's probably thinking you can't let your son just behead everybody it actually got a little bit more um from cersei's side of ned and everybody she fully on intended like him to be at least that's was what i trans got out of it she full-on intended him to go and take take the black to be to serve his time on the wall she was full-on ready for, she was like okay it's whatever you know let him serve his time at the, on the at the black but um but then she's like she's wait she explained it was all of a sudden you know joffrey's did this one thing and that happened it's just you know you can't in front of everybody so you can't really you can't say oh no we didn't discuss this no that's not what we wanted in front of everybody you know so she kind of like we couldn't do anything about it so yeah um and Arya, she is with um this guy who is taking people to the wall they're they're taking them to the black these these boys but he knows that she's a girl so he she presumes he must know who she is so he's kind of i don't know what his intentions are Really, it kind of feel, seems like he's going to take her in her wing trying to protect her because she knows he's a Stark, but I don't know. We still don't know what the tension is. And she did just beat the shit out of one, one kid with, with a club, which was great. And now he's scared of her, which is funny. Um, so, that's what's happened up to this point. I'm actually at Arya Stark right now. Arya Stark. Arya ch chapter. And um, we're kind of, they kind of stopped in at an inn and they're telling stories. Um, and she got kicked out because she talked, and of course the guy's like, no speaking, boy. Um, and when he does that, and you know, have you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie, um, oh my god, Phantasm. The big tall man, the, the, he, fun fact, he actually wasn't really a tall man, he had to wear heels, but, um, he goes, boy. There's <laughs> every time he does that. Now I kind of, kind of think of that, which is a funny, it's, it's a funny movie, you guys have to watch if you guys haven't. It's from 1975 or something, 77, something like that. In the 70s, it was a great movie. But yeah, the tall man, he actually, he just is going around and trying to catch this boy. And he's just going, boy, the whole time, which is funny. Which is kind of like what the guy's doing to Arya the whole time. Because he's wanting to emphasize, hey, you are a boy. You're not a girl. If they find out you're a girl, you're dead. But anyway, there's that. Um, 
if anything major happens, I will let, keep you updated, updated, but let's, let's have a good time with me reading this for the first time. And I'm also watching the show on the first season, so I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and stick with, stay behind in the show, but keep, be ahead of the books, so I can follow along with it, so I'm not getting spoiled in the show before the book, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try my best to do that, but they're set, and I'll see you in my next update. Hey, so... Um, in this book, um, um, Commander, um, Marmot, whoever he is, um, he is a crow. And he, um, narrates some things, like words, um, like, for instance, Jon Snow, he comes into the, um, Commander's room, wherever he is, uh, Marmot's room, and then, um, he knows who he is, and he goes, Snow, Snow! Snow, snow, and it's funny because it's I'm listening to it as well. And there's a part where um, they're talking about something strong, whatever. He goes strong, 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 and he goes, um, "Is that boy?" Um, Mormont asks about Sam t um, Tully right now, or Tarly, whoever he is. Um, says, um, "Is that boy a big fool?" As he seems, Lord Commander asked when he he was gone, and of course the Raven goes fool. Foo foo, and that's how how I'm saying it exactly is how I'm hearing it in the book, and it's really funny. I don't know if anybody's been listening, listen to the book too, but it's really funny how the narrator of this book narrates the crow, and it's so funny. And also, when I'm listening to um, Bran's chapters, and Hodor is in the mix, and he Hodor he doesn't speak; he he says Hodor. <laughs> he says that all the time. So every time I hear Hodor, I'm like, Hodor. <laughs> it's super funny. Five seconds later, we just got a whole bunch of Targaryen info dump, but I don't know how to process that. Like history stuff, I don't know how to process that. I don't know if I need to bookmark that and reread that. I should, shouldn't I? Should I bookmark what I just read since it's kind of a history info dump? Huh? In this book that I'm reading. Mm -hmm. It was a info dump. Should I bookmark that and reread it for later? Can. Okay. See, he, he don't offer no, no advice, no nothing. He's like, you can. Because Aemon, all I think about is one-eyed Aemon, because I'm thinking about the House of the Dragon, so that's how I'm tracking things. And I do have House of the Dragon book. That's a history book, so I don't know what to do. I need another book that, that lays out everything, you know? Because Aemon, the blind guy, the maester, whoever he is, he's blind. He's a <clears throat> Targaryen. And they tracked down his whole line we back down. He's blind. Oh no. I might have to bookmark that part. You guys, it's the battle of the... Of the Ikea floor lamp. Yeah, Stella. You, I, yeah, you whooping. Well, wh why? Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? Battle of the fl Ikea floor lamps, y'all. She does this around this time every night. Every night. Now she's licking something on, but we don't know what it is. Where'd she go? Why are you chirping? Why are you chirping? What is wrong?
her pet is an aphid. Still likes a bug's life. Look at her. Still, do you like a bug's life? You're shooting her watching. It's because all the colorful ants and bugs. Hello, um, there is rain sound in the background because I have rain playing on my TV behind you. You're maybe a little like your cat crooked. That ain't making it better, is it? I'm still experimenting with this. Yeah, I'm still experimenting. Oh shit. I think we're good. Anyway, I'm going to try to remember what we've been keeping up with. Um, okay, yeah, I think I, I think I told you about the the um, Targaryen info dump right there. I, I went on about. Okay, so I think what basically what has happened is uh, Tyrion Lannister. Which we love him. I don't know why. I have a little mini crush on Tyrion. I don't know why, but he's kind of awesome. But um, he has come to court and he has become the hand of the king um, to the 13 year old child. He's like, I am the king. I've seen that. I've seen that um, uh, clip where, you know, um, I believe that they're going out into the towns and people are starving or whatnot. And, um, Joffrey is like, I am the king! He's like, and he slaps the shit out of her. She goes, and I've struck a king! And it's really funny. Anyway, um, that's all I imagine him just going to like, uh, get in! I am a king! <clears throat> that's all I imagine. But anyway, um, so, um, anyway, he's, uh, a hand of the, to, J to Joffrey right now. He talks to, um, oh yeah, that's right. And I was talking about how, um, sorry, so we slapped him like three times, which is funny. So he ends up going into like this little uh, tavern bar thing, whatever, and is talking with the gold commander, like the, the gold cloaks commander, whatever, and he's kind of casually talking to him and then he kind of basically is like, yo, you're being sent off somewhere else because he's trying to find out um, what happened when he was gone and there was a child and daughter that was, child and mother that was killed and, um, all that stuff and it turns out that it was Cersei who done it um I figured that out with him and Varys Lord Varys talking um because that was Robert Baratheon's bastard child he had had and you know Cersei don't be liking that so but she doesn't want any of what she doesn't want any of Robert Baratheon's kids trying to take claim to the throne because she wants her old Joff to be king so he's kind of like, oh shit, but he really, he's also realizing that, you know, Cersei also didn't really mean for, um, what happened with, um, Ned, Ned Stark was kind of out of her hands, because, you know, because Joffrey was like, I guess, on the side, was like, we're gonna behead this motherfucker, and it was kind of shocked everybody, and it was all played out without any hesitation because it's almost like they're paid off, you know, which I'm pretty sure that they were. And so yeah, it's kind of it's kind of slowly rolling my oh damn. But it's just wicked. She's a wicked woman. And so but also uh, Tyrion's also gonna have this man he's thrown off board because he's sending him to the wall. He's having him take the back. But he's not. So um yeah. Him and Doraz were talking and then you know basically saying kind of had the discussion in very weird riddles of like, okay, who's actually in power? Who, who actually has the power here? Like, is it really the king? Is it the king's hand? Or is it the people who are wielding the swords doing that, you know? So that was very interesting to kind of think about. It's like, Jeffrey's like 13, and he's like, power of a 13, he really took command of a 13 year old, but it's like, dude, um, who's actually has real power here? So that was a very interesting kind of conversation. Um, and then Arya kind of following her around and the gold cloaks are looking for, um, this boy who was a, I believe he was a, he was a, he was, um, a blacksmith 
And I think this is Stella. She throwed up three times today. Yeah, but now she's obviously doing fine. But I think she got into too much hay. But she's doing fine right now. Aren't we Stella? Aren't we Miss Yellow? Um, I think, you know, in like season one, Ned goes to the, um, to the town and he finds this kid. And he's like, oh, it's about breath and hay. I think he's also, he's cleaning a helmet. And I think that the reason why they want him is because that's Robert's lesser child. So he's on there. Um, basically all the the guy, the people, the men are taking the black. They are all in Arya. Who we don't know who's known as boy. Um, they are, they end up coming together and protecting them and stuff like that. So I see them get into fights and they're kind of worried about, oh shoot, this person fall and go take a pee. And also there's the, there's a talk of wolves. Hey Stella. Um, and she keeps thinking about uh, Nymeria because last time she saw her, she had said, Girl, what are you doing? Stop. Say hello. Um, yeah. So there's that. I don't think we've had a Sansa chapter since then. Oh, we've had a Danny chapter. Um, she is basically following this comment. Whatever, whatever, so they're basically going over there. There's the sandy plains, which are like terrible, and people are dying off. But she's like, we're following these things. This is going, and they find this little place where it's almost like an abandoned little semi sandy place. And then there's figs, there's fruits, and there's clean water. And then she's sending out her other people, kind of going like this way, that way, that way, this way, to kind of go and find what else is out there. And as of right now, they found somebody who want to see the dragons. Um, so that's cool. And we also got um, Warrenville and Sir Jargo Jar Mormont. His wife looked, his second wife looked kind of like her. And um, he loved her so dearly. And basically, in the minute that his money was all squandered away, um, because he was trying to do a thing to, to please her, um, she haven't looked at me yet. So, yeah. There's that. Um, and... We got a little bit more of, of, um, who the hell, um, oh, oh I can tell you that how, um, oh, Catelyn, she's just kind of seeing how, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, sorry, anyway, um, how Catelyn is kind of seeing how her son is doing, so stop, 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 doing with being, um, crowned as King of the North, sit, come up here, here we go, sit right here. Um, no, you're not going down now. You're gonna sit right here with me. Okay, fine, go in that corner. Um, and I forgot my point. Oh, Theon. Theon Gorgeous, he is going home. And way back in the day, like 10 years ago, um, Robert Baratheon and Ned, they went and had, like, they basically um, had a fight, stop it, stop it, over at, um, they have Greyjoy's home to homeland, and they they took him as like as like a servant or whatever. But obviously, <coughs> they were treating him way better there than he was when he because he because he, he was coming back home. There was like no homecoming thing, no nothing, and they're kind of very suspicious of him, and, and they kind of like kind of looking down on him, calling him a Stark, and he's like, really, come here. And um, his dad don't like that. He's his, his um. He had had a great idea of trying to get his dad, you know, back the crown that he was he, he had lost. Um, due to the Starks, and Rob was like, "Yeah, good, okay." And it kind of seems like he's um, wanting to kind of restore that relationship again or whatever. And the dad's like, "No," and yes, he doesn't like like his son anymore because he's been he thinks that his son is turning to a Stark. So I'm thinking, dang, you've kind of had a good life with the Starks really when um you know anyway so there was that like it was just like very like weird I'm like dang you would think that you're something that you had been had taken away like over 10 years there's an ad okay. pop up it's deep in the jungle hanging with a friendly hey, or <laughs> i'm stuck bass playing the bass <laughs> oh oh okay i'll do waves okay we're doing waves now um, but you would think that you you lot you had your son gone for like ten years to the to the people that defeated your ass. 
you know, you don't want to, you're kind of treating yourself like shit. Playing with my girl, Kama Stark, it's like deep, really. You know what I mean? So that was very odd. So we'll see where his loyalty actually lie, how, what he thinks about the Stark family, really, after he's kind of had this treatment. Um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, I don't think there was anything else. Oh, and we had a little bit more of, um, that's what I was going to do before I had this brain thought. Um, Stannis Baratheon, we had a little bit more of what his, uh, Lady Marcello, um, the, the witch, thank you, um, they basically had, like, a whole, like, ritual thing, where they had, like, um, the gods built up with wood or whatever, and they had, like, a whole, um, a burning man, Stella, stop it, no, 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 I'm this though. Bye. So yeah, um, it was almost like a whole ritual of like, um, uh, the light sword, and it was really, really weird and off the, um, you were kind of, it was just weird, and I don't quite understand what was going on, not gonna lie, but, um, and this man, who was basically like a pirate, was talking to Stannis. He's kind of trying to convince Stannis, hey, you don't want um, your people to uh, change, try to change their beliefs and all that stuff. Because um, they probably don't like that. And um, don't quite understand that. It's fine. It's okay. There's probably many things I'm not going to understand the first go around of me reading this. It's okay. I'll play better when it's shown the show, maybe. That's fine. Um, there was also... Um, where, um, not really Stannis, but another Stannis. I didn't know there was four. I don't know how many Stannis there is, not Stannis, the Baratheons they are. Basically, Senator Crow of him claiming the state, claiming, um, to be the rightful king of the Iron Throne, and then, um, Stannis, like, you're gonna go to East Town, hand him every letter that I'm the proper king to everyone as you can. So, yeah. That's as far as we're at right now. I know it's kind of all over the place because I, I kind of, there's a whole lot that's going in. Many chapters I'm like, I want to read as much so this is not going to be a, a two hour long vlog, but I don't know. Um, I know some of the things I'm not going to fully understand the first time, that's okay. Because I have to remember, it. this is my first time reading these through. And you're not going to understand the first things the first time, that's okay. So, um, yeah. Oh, and Jon Snow, um they're out with his people um going into this town to kind of see what happened and the wildlings are gone there's these bones hanging around so we think they're investigating what happened to this little area so um i'm assuming this is him doing his ranger things he's rangering right now so that's good that's what he wanted so he's doing that right now and yeah that's just where i'm at right now actually it's when i was like i need to update before I forget everything I've read. So, um, yeah, here's to trying to understand what's going on the best that we can and that it's okay. Then we're not going to understand that it's, uh, everything the first time. That's the lesson of this vlog. You are not going to understand everything the first time on your first read of a book like this. Mm, peace. So no book updates, but I'm watching the show right now, and I'm watching season one, and the way King Robert talks, um, for instance, he's talking about Daenerys, um, being pregnant with, um, Khal Drogo's son, and he goes, the whore is carrying his son. <laughs> he talks like this all the time, and it's really funny. <laughs> and, and I, I don't know, it's just like, um, Daenerys Targaryen, the head of the Dothraki army, <laughs> just so funny it's like this the way he talks like the actor and it's just really funny and he's like Vizier is Targaryen oh hey Stella it's just really funny so that's that's it that's what all I gotta say it's just um him um talking about um Daenerys and wanting to kill her and all that shit it's really funny and we're at the point where in the show and also in the book oh hey Stella dude 
you can't have that. You can have my toy. Come on. No. Oh, oh. Thank you. Um, where? Um, Ned gets his leg fucked up. And, um, yeah. So he's going to be healing from that. So, and Rob's, not Rob. Uh, Robert Baratheon is going to, you know, probably get killed here in this episode. So, yeah. There it is. Yo, I'm back with an update. I'm not watching Game of Thrones, making fun of Robert Baratheon. Anyway, um, so I am about, I'd say half, mm, not quite half, I'm getting there. 400 pages in. Out of... 9 and 9.50 pages. Um, a lot has happened. Um, not that I quite understand, but this is what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting that, um, revolts are kind of happening in King's Landing, right? Because, um, they don't have any food, no nothing, because everything else is happening in King's Landing. Um, so... And, um, 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 Joffrey is just wanting to, um, cut people's heads off, go hunt deer for sport, and, um, Tyrion Lannister is, um, is making moves, um, to ensure that the right things are done, uh, per the people, and, you know, making sure, like, you know, um, King's Landing, like, where they're at does not fall, you know, as, you know, as he should be. So, he's doing that, kind of, like, playing Cersei a little bit, but he's, he's trying to do the right thing, you know. Um, he's playing the Game of Thrones, but trying to do it in a way where it, it's, um, where he, he's just trying to do the right thing. So, for the realm, and, um, he's conspiring with Lord Baelish, which I don't fucking trust that guy, and Lord Varys, which I think I trust him, I don't know, though, and then Sansa, you're kind of filming her a little bit, and, um, the fool that she saved on jo uh, Joffrey's birthday, he, um, sort of feels to her, and let yell, I'm your knight, so he's gonna try to help her out of King's Landing, I don't know if he's the guy who actually helps her get out of King's Landing eventually, not sure, but there's that, and then Catelyn, she's going off, she went to Renly Stannis's place in Dragonstone? No, that's where Stannis is at. Stannis is in Dragonstone. While she was there, you know, um, doing what she was doing, we let, uh, we, um, not sure quite why she's there. I think she's trying to help, um, get their support, I think. Um, but, um, while she was there, we let, we met, um, um, uh, Miss Brianna, the big, big tall lady who's a knight as well. Um, we met her. And then while she was there, um, talking to Renly Stannis, um, um, no, yeah, no, Renly Baratheon, sorry, Renly Baratheon, um, Stannis Baratheon, the, I think, oh, one, one of the brothers, who is at Dragonstone, he is now on their doorstep, so now they're fighting, um, so there was that, and then we found that, um, um, and Arya Stark, she, um, the guy that, uh, took them, I forget his name, um, who took her and kept calling her boy, um, he died because they were held up in a place that was already over by someone else, and they were just kind of staying there for the night. They thought that they were okay, because they're like, they're not, they, they have no fealty anyway, they take the black. But no, um, the, um, Lannister gold cloaks people killed him, and then, um, Arya and the butcher's boy, not the butcher's boy, the guy who has the, the kid who has the helmet, the uh, gentry, um, I, which I think is Baratheon's, Robert Baratheon's bastard, I'm not sure, but I'm positive it is. Um, they have one, uh, and then two other people that is with them. Um, the one kid, he's like crumpled right now, he got a fucked up leg. He's always like saying, um, um, we should yield, we should yield. Well, he eventually, he eventually gets yield, he yields, but then he's like, you have to carry me, and they kill him, so he's dead. Good for him. Um, but, um, Gentry, 
finds out he knew that Ariel was a girl and he, he tells her a thing and of course he's like okay oh you're a lady and he's like she's like stop that but anyway Gentry ends up getting kidnapped because they're trying they were scouting out a place that has the food and now they're they were in the midst of trying to save them but they got caught and you don't know what happens now because I haven't got to that part where we find out what happens afterward so there's one of that piece and um while Tyrion's making all these moves he's marrying off Marcella to um, one of the Tyrells, which, um, if I'm understanding this correctly, um, Gregor Clegane, the bad Clegane, he killed one of the Tyrells' sisters, so, you know, they're trying to kind of make up for that, you know, um, by, off by Tyrion offering, um, all these other extra stuff. I don't remember what they offered, but I know the marriage with Marcella and him and their kid, and something else but Cersei was like that's too much that's too much he's like well he's a lord we have to offer that much we offer him less it'd be like a slap in the face basically uh she doesn't quite like that but um which I understand because she's kind of like you're gonna marry off Marcella like I was married off to Robert I kind of see that but you know he's like he's kind of making the point of um she'd be safer over there than here right now but yeah they're sad and then I just got to the part where um um Tyrion just made the announcement that hey um both Stannis brothers are fighting each other right now and they both laugh and they all think it's funny and you know Tyrion he uh, laces her wine with something they gave her diary which is really really funny so and there was a little bit of Jon Snow's chapter where they are at I forget where they're at because I'm trying to keep all this stuff and it's like you know Again, I'm, you're not going to understand everything the first time on your first read of this. Especially with someone like me who I have not read anything. The only thing, the only extensive thing I've ever read was really like Stephen King wise. You know, his world building and stuff, but nothing like um, Brandon Sanderson or something like that. If, even if I go on my, look at my book, my bookshelf, I think I've read The Hobbit, I've read a little bit of the First Lord of the Rings books, but that's it. I think even more something extensive that's more that's a little bit extensive is maybe Chantal del Tessier. But nothing like like this before. So if I'm understanding this correctly, Jon Snow and um the Rogers the the Black. Um they're at this town and he um he's kinda like figuring the things out over there. I'm just in their one stop shop to somewhere else. Um and they, they stay there for the night and um Samuel Tarly Tarly, but Tarly, because I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't have that accent, but anyway, um, come to find out that they have no males running around because they, if I'm understanding this correctly, they sacrifice their sons to the White Walkers. So, and then one of the wives of this man asked if they could go with them or when they come back and she's, she's pregnant she's worried that if it's a son they get offered up and he's like we can't do that so he's like we can't do that we can't like he's not guaranteed we wouldn't come back here and there was that and lord commander um sir Walmart knows this he's like okay but yeah so there's a little bit of that um going on so he's doing his rain he's rangering around doing them things with samuel tarley or samuel sam so there's a little bit of that and I think that's all that I'm I'm going to update on for right now because I think that's from what I gained and what I'm remembering and yeah. Um, the first book was definitely easier to, um, I think, keep up and follow and understand because it's not, because there, I think in this one there's so many other movie pieces. Oh, and, um, oh my god, I forgot another guy. Um, um, um. We had a we had a Daenerys Targaryen um chapter in a while um um, um Theon Greyjoy um he again is getting mocked um at his own hometown again and they are they were scheming things and of course he's he's having he his head's up saying hey you'd go do this you go do this and he's like man I should be doing that basically he's being mocked again because you know um to them he's like a stranger because I haven't seen them in ten years even though you know. That's their family member. They just see him as, as a stranger that um, the Sarks raised. So, um, yeah. There's that. And, you know, I think he... I really think that he's going to realize that, damn, the, the Stark family really um, 
I may have been been um, in theory quote unquote like taken as their ward or their slave but really I was treated a lot better um they treat more like family than anybody else and these people that I haven't seen in years that I thought they were family ever so yeah there's that and um I think he'll realize that soon enough anyway um that's basically all I got got to say right now um I'm gonna see how the rest goes and I may not go into the third run immediately because I think what the third one's uh oh god which one is it Storm of Swords oh my god I got three more of these books to do damn and they're all so big I may just I may do like a like a like a just for this one and then do like a break just because I don't want to like overwhelm myself and then go to reeks you know what I mean <sighs> so yeah there's that um if any major updates and I'm like oh my god I will let you know anyway peace out 2,000 years later Hello. It has been uh, since May 16th since I last updated you and it is August 4th. May, June, July, so we're about two months. And yeah, let's go. Um, so yeah, um, as you can probably predict, I went into a reading slump like really bad. Like, I haven't read really anything. I think I've tried to reread several things. I, I, um, what did I read? I, I did finish Carnage at some point because I wanted to try that. And then, um, I tried to read, um, Interview the Vampire. I've got through that a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I started another book. I don't remember. I started, I just started several books trying to get out of the reading slump. It wasn't working. Um, yes, doll. See, she's looking at my phone. Um, yeah, um, so just ended up doom scrolling for a very long time and um, watching the Golden Girls and been watching um, the um, Game of Thrones offshoot of House of the Dragon, which is doing great. Um, loving that. Um, and also saw the leaks that came out on Tuesday. Saw that. So that's great. The last episode, which comes out tonight. Um haven't rewatched any of the Game of Thrones series because or at least the main series um because I just have not been in the mood to and I'm really thinking about going back to it and I swear to God she scratches that door Stella come on but yeah I've been just been in a really bad reading slump and thank god you know I do a video of my updates because uh that's helped me kind of really remember where I'm at really in the series it's about right here I think when I left, left first left you off um Theon Greyjoy he went um back to his homeland they're treating him kind of funny um just because he you know he doesn't he feels like more like a guest than a family member um and um I think I told you about um we met Brianna um well um what is it I think it's Renly Baratheon he dies um because Stannis and his little witch woman sticks his their ghost on him and all that stuff and of course um Brienne's like I saw stuff and they're trying to get stuff them out of it um and Arya's people um who were taking um they ended up getting kidnapped taken away and of course the one guy is like we should yield we should yield he ends up you know yielding but um they actually end up being taken by um Tywin Lannister's people on Dragonstone I forget where. It's wherever the like, Time Lannisters is. Stella. Oh, she's she's like in something. But anyway, yeah. So she is at at his at Tywin's place, and then you know she ends up making a friend or kind of, and he's like you know um whisper to me any any person that you want and he'll disappear. Um, she ends up um doing that with several people and I think I don't think she's escaped yet from there yet I'm not sure because I don't remember um and Theon ends up going to Winterfell and taking over Winterfell yeah so um and Bran ended up making friends with the um some guests and talking about him the, the three-eyed crow and how he's having these dreams and stuff like that so um 
that portion I remember and um yep yep um I wrote a note near too as well um yeah because I think that's what that's about where I'm at um the untaking of the Winterfell um and Arya being in Tywin's camp and um and I think Arya like requests people being killed and all that stuff and of course Daenerys she's just traveling um across wherever she's coming from right now with the little dragons and things like that and I feel like there's more more to what I'm remembering but I think I remember more once I continue on reading it because you know I think that's basically all that's really happened so much so far yep Oh, and Tywin's Tyrion's trying to figure out what to do with Shay and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure um, John he's going across this other thing. I forget. Yep. But I think that's the majority of what has happened so far in this book. I'm only got like this much left to go. Um, yeah. So I guess that's what happens when you know you get into a really bad reading slump for two months. Is you know you remember just a little bit of what you were reading, and then that is that. Um, so I think because we lost our internet because oh my god last night we had like a, a storm and lightning struck us thank god we didn't get set ablaze but um one of our neighbors um was like banging on our door screaming help 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 and I'm like what and um for hi Stella did, Stella did not like the big thunderstorm she did not and it was really weird um we knew that you know lightning was struck i mean of course it, it did stri strike us but she was banging on her door and we're like what this is like 1 30 in the morning 1 30 in the morning and then we go out and like we have a doorbell man and people don't see our doorbell it's like because we have like an exterior door but so it's a door then you walk onto our balcony then you get in the house so it's like an extra security thing so of course we have it locked and of course i go downstairs and i'm like see her there's a fire truck and everything like that i'm like are you okay she's like yeah i'm fine you guys had your exterior door locked i couldn't like get in i'm like we got struck by lightning i'm like i'm just thinking yeah we have our exterior door locked just so you know we don't get robbed or killed in the middle of the night that's what those doors are for but i don't know um i don't know if the fire alarm got set up by itself because we got struck by lightning and it just set it off shorted it i don't know but yeah um we had that so i had a really bad headache when I woke up anyway and then like I went outside and the fire alarm was like wee wee and it's a horrible noise it's horrible I, I know it's supposed to be horrible so people can get up and move and get out of their houses but damn it's horrible and then I continued on this morning and then I took a hot shower and now I'm feeling a little better I'm feeling a little bit more inspired to continue on reading this book and then you know seeing where it takes me but yeah yeah <laughs> very eventful um night so Um, yeah, so, um, if anything, I remember, I think I might watch me some reading vlogs or something to kind of refresh my brain. Because I think that might help kind of refresh what's going on and stuff like that and help me. Since I have not read, like, anything. I've started things. And, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, so, there's that. So, wish me luck. Hello. Me and Stella were outside walking, and we're, I'm regretting it. It's, it's hot. Come on, Stella. Get up, mud. Because it's, it's been raining for the like past couple days, and it's, like, super, super hot. And, yeah. So, um, finished Clash of Kings and everything like that. Um, so, everything that happened, they won the war. Uh, the Battle of Blackwater, I think that's called. And, um... Mar um, Joffrey's now gonna marry Marjorie and all that crap, you know. And something else happened, I can't remember. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that happens. And oh, um, Arya's now uh, escaped Heron Hall and is trying to make it to River Run with Hot Pie, Gendry, Gendry, or and someone else. Oh, there's that. Oh, and then um, we get a big chapter where Tyrion, he lost his nose, and he's feeling really bad about himself. So that was like, this will happen like the last 200 pages, everything like that. Tywin's back. Um, 
he's now being he now he's really he's, he's hand the king now um so there is that action um and that's pretty much happened um oh and um um john snow he is now get out of that mud stella um he is now kind of going undercover with the wildlings he killed the one of the one of, some guy i can't remember his name um he killed him and now he's going undercover and that's where we kind of left off with him and now i'm on to the third book so i think i might document that while also watching the show um where the show differs from the book um aria is cupbearer to bruce bolton oh and you find out that um um bran rickon and then hodel he, he is the is they are not dead um they're hiding in the crypts the whole time so you find that out too and bruce bolton's bastard son ramsey i think snow um his people take over or they're going to take over because i do know that happens so they get sucked what if i get sacked get out of the mud stella um so that happens as well and maester lewin he dies and now and now the crew they're all um they're gonna leave they're out in the woods now so they're leaving they left winterfell and all that stuff so that happens as well and i'm back to where the show differs from the show um oh good piece stella come on um where Arya is is um cupbearer to Bruce Bolton. Um Bruce Bolton is not he's not um by Rob Stark the whole time. He's actually with So we're gonna have to go in the road. But it's too wet in this grass. Come on. Come on. I know we normally go in the go there but we gotta I'm gonna get my pants wet. So oh see this is why I don't go in the road because someone soon through. They really didn't get hit. But um, he, she's actually cut bare to Tywin in the show, which I like that substitution instead, or better than um, Bruce Bolton, because with Bruce Bolton, there's a power coming, hang on. Come on, Stella, don't go in front of me. Um, so, back to what I was saying. Um, Arya is, when she's here to Bruce Bolton in the book. There's not really much interaction. There's not much talk between them. He's basically, anytime she says anything or even tries to ask questions, he's like, I'll cut your tongue out. Ugh. He's a dickhead. So, still like, sap. Oh, I know, it's hotter than your toadies. But we got we, we, we to stay out of this wet, the wetter part of the grass. But, uh, so, that ends up being a change because with Tywin and Arya, they talk a lot more. They go over the Westeros history in Targaryen history and they you kind of get the impression that he knows who she is and everything like that but he likes her so I like that relationship weirdly because you know they're they have a good conversation it's very intelligent and he actually cares to hear about what she has to say about some things so that's cool and yeah so that's cool um, I do feel like in the book where Arya's uh, telling the names to that one guy I can't say it, his name because weird, um, Jaken. Um, in the book, she's very more undercover about it. You know what I mean? Like she walks by and whispers the name, right? And he knows. But like in the show, she's very much, I need to do it now. It just happened now. You know what I mean? And she's not as... She's not, she's not like spy-ish, more, she's not like, you know, more, um, what's the word I'm thinking, you guys? <sighs> Damn, this heat, it's got me, um, she's not as sneaky about it. She's not more undercover, I guess, can't think of the word, um, tactical. She's not more, she's not tactical about it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, but the whole plot or like the kind of like side plot of um Catelyn's dad dying and everything like that that's kind of taken out um and you really don't see the whole scene of Catelyn helping break Jamie out which she does break him out that's kind of happens behind the scenes you kind of 
find out afterward, I think. Or I could be remembering it wrong because I did take a two-month pause on it. That kind of flows over to the third book um, where you get the Jamie chapter in them um, interacting. Um, there's that. Um, you also get more where, like, in season two, you get the, um, the shame of, like, where's that season three? No, oh, it's not season three. Where they get mad where, um, yeah, where she broke him out because she's like, you know, she wants her kids back. And at this point, um, in the second book, she knows that their brothers are dead, her other sons are dead, but they're really not. Um, but the show, she does not know that. And so they kind of put what happens in the third book, they flow it into the second season a little bit. So you see that um, more in the third book, in the beginning of the book. So like the first hundred pages. But yeah, that's, it's going. So um, you still have to go up and, you know, hide from this hot weather. I thought, ooh, maybe it's time, time, start for us, time for us to, you know, start walking again outside and you know, I don't think we're going to do that till maybe September where it gets a little a little cooler so yeah so here is the closing of this video with Stella walking and looking cute <laughs>